Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. And today I thought I'd tell you a little bit about some of the stuff that I purchased in October. Um, as you know, um, I had a giveaway recently and I basically gave away three quarters of my makeup collection um, plus samples and things I was saving to use at a later time. I think I had like six mascara samples and things like that. So anyway, um, because of this, I actually did buy a few things and I did want to talk about a few things that went on this month that were kind of interesting. The most exciting news that I have is that we have a closing date finally for our house sale. So that is coming up this coming week and we have mixed emotions over um, the house closing and it's not going to be ours anymore but we are settling in here. I want to talk about what am I wearing? Look at this. I am part of the Fritzy family and Fritzy of course is glitzy Fritzy and she I've been subscribed to her since she started and uh, she's a great gal she's really funny got a great sense of humor and uh, she does makeup videos and she does lifestyle kind of uh, vlogs and she has a little store where she sells jewelry and makeup and now t-shirts and the Fritzy family is just uh, what she calls all of her subscribers you know and uh, it's kind of a nice universal kind of friendly sort of thing so I really like this this is the hoodie version it's a t-shirt kind of thing and it's, it's easy to layer and of course you get this cool little hoodie kind of thing going on. I really like that. So, <laughs> so I have linked below um, Glitzy's channel and her store and uh, hopefully you can find something that's different colors or slightly different designs, but I really like this one. It's really cool. So anyway, let's start off with Sephora Play. I changed my address, so Sephora Play has sent me the new um, October Sephora Play. And it's kind of called Public Display of Complexion. And it's all about face care and your, your actual base foundation. So you always, with a play, get several items and a scent. There's like five items here. The first one is the Urban Decay Optical Illusion uh, Complexion Primer. And now this, this subscription is, is very inexpensive. I think it's like $10 a month and you get some really nice, good size uh, samples. And some of these things are things you probably wouldn't normally buy for yourself or they're kind of brand new and you don't know they exist. And this is one of those things and I really like this. I wore this in New York uh, recently uh, from my going to a wedding makeup and I really like this a lot. It's, uh, this one is the the anti-age one, I guess they call it. It's got a little pump on it and it's just very, very nice. It dries down quickly to a kind of a silicone matte feel. It's not greasy or oily or anything and it really looked nice under my makeup. It didn't, uh, sometimes primers will make your makeup bunch up or ball up on the top, but this did not. It worked really nicely. Uh, the second thing in this is a it's Dr. Brandt's, uh, it's a scrub, it's kind of a chemical peel scrub and when you put it on your, your face kind of, you shed some skin with it. I find this one to be a little bit harsh and I think I'm spoiled because I use, I use these off of Amazon. There's a lot more here and it's a lot cheaper. This is the Mizone Apple Smoothie Peeling Gel and then this is the um, Lemon Sparkling Peeling Gel and this is, um, from Secret Key. So between these two, um, I, I like the natural peels better. This is from a Swiss apple or something and you put it on your skin and you get little skin skin balls and rinses off, but this is much gentler than the Dr. Brandt, so I'm not real keen on the Dr. Brandt. Uh, the next thing they gave was this um, Makeup Forever HD Skin Booster. And this is an extremely hydrating blast for your skin. Um, you get a little eye, eyedropper kind of thing and uh, it's cold to the touch. And when you put it on your face, 
it feels extremely emollient, like you got a blast of water into your skin. And it dries down fairly quickly, but your skin really does feel hydrated. I think you still need a primer with it, but it is a beautiful uh, moisture base for those of us who have dry skin. And, I, and who doesn't have dry skin in the winter? You know, we all have dry skin in the winter. Um, the last thing is this setting spray, which is the Rainforest of the Sea. Glasses. Oh, hate getting old. All right. Actually, I don't hate getting old, but okay. Marine Boosting Mist. Okay. This is a setting spray, which is, when you put it on, it's really, really a pleasant feeling. There is a strong scent to it, though, so some of you may not like that part of it, but um, it's a very nice setting spray. It dries down really quickly. Um, the next thing is the uh, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Makeup Sample, and they, based on how you feel out, like with Play, um, it's like a little questionnaire, and they put down, you know, what are your, your skin concerns, what's your skin type, what color are your eyes, what color is your hair, um, are you medium light skin, light skin, medium dark, medium, you know, dark. And they send you a sample of foundations, generally based on how you answer, and they got it spot on with this color. And I had tried this before, but I think it was during, you know, sometimes during the month when your skin is not in great shape. Um, I had tried this and it was so blotchy. I didn't really like it and I really liked it this time. It worked just as well as my other uh, foundations and boy that's sure a testament to the fact that you know good skin care can really make a difference in how your makeup goes on. So I did like this. It was really nice and it's a nice healthy size um, sample. So the play box is like ten dollars a month and they send you an assortment of things based on your recommendations. Not everybody's box is the same, and you'll find that uh, another person's play box doesn't have half of these things in it, and they have different things in it. So they may have said they like bolder colors, or they are darker skinned, or they have oily complexion, or acne concerns, and they'll get totally different stuff. So I love the idea of play, and it's one of the few subscriptions that I actually feel is worth it. So I have linked below um, if you're interested in signing up for that um, the play box. And it's always fun to see the the dots here, you know, my stripes coming in the mail. It's always I always know what it is. <laughs> oh, the other thing that came is a scent, and this is the Tory Birch uh, Belle Azure Bell Azure shade. It's okay. It's pleasant enough. Um, I'm not a real perfume person, so I can't describe scent too well. I just know what I like and what I don't like and what smells too pongy to me and too strong. Uh, this is very pleasant, the Tory Burch Bellazur, and that also came in the play box. So you get a really nice little assortment there. For 10 bucks. you get a really nice um, introduction to a lot of products. So the next thing, I went to a wedding this past weekend and uh, I'll show you a couple pictures from it and I used my Whoosh face palette for my makeup and my uh, daughter-in-law was there and she had forgotten to bring her makeup. She has two young children she's running around all the time and she and my son-in-law drove us to New York and she said oh my god I forgot my makeup she had some lipstick in her purse and nothing else. So I said, why don't you just try this Whoosh palette? And she loved it. And I, I wound up giving it to her because she, she really liked She liked the, the two um, face perfectors in there. And, um, but I think I made a video for the bride and groom and it was actually with in mind the grandmother who was in the nursing home and couldn't go. She was, uh, it was all about, I showed New York, I showed our hotel room, which there was something called a smart mirror. I don't know if you've seen that, but it's a big, it's the mirror in the bathroom, but there's like a big rectangle carved out in it, and there's a screen. It's like a computer screen, and you have a remote, and you can watch the news or the game or whatever. My husband was watching the game in there. <laughs> I mean, he was really fascinated with it, but it's called a smart mirror. It 
was a little unnerving because we're looking at the remote and we're like, what is it doing in the bathroom? You know, we're going out to the living room and pushing it and nothing's happening with the TV. So we went in and, and in the bathroom, there's things coming on in the mirror. It was kind of bizarre. But we were at the Lowe's Regency on Park Avenue. Um, this was the menu that they had in the, uh, in the rooms, and I, you know, it's very pretentious, oh my god. It's a different life, you know, I'm, I'm kind of a cheapskate, so I found these prices to be horrible. I mean, like, a, a bottle of water was $12, a grilled cheese sandwich was $25, and, you know, we actually ordered that when we were in the bar, and I actually enjoyed it. It was really good. It was delicious. And it had homemade french fries with it, and it was sourdough, thick sourdough bread. It was really good. But it was $25, and then they add a 18% gratuity, and then they add a 3% uh, administration charge, you know, that goes to your room. So it winds up being like $37, $38 for a grilled cheese. That's New York, Park Avenue. <laughs> but it was really nice. The wedding was a lot of fun, and um, it was killing me. I couldn't go into the Sephora there, and it was right around the corner from our hotel, but we were kind of rushed for time, and you know the wedding took all day, and uh, we stayed overnight, and then the next day we had to leave first thing in the morning because my son-in-law had a flight to catch for his job. Anyway, uh, so that was my big event of... Um, the uh, year. And kind of the cool thing, my dress, um, most of the bridal party wore different shades of gold dresses and I had a gold dress so I kind of meshed with the uh, wedding. <laughs> my dress was from a thrift store and it cost me seven dollars. And it looked just as nice as the hundred and thousand dollar gowns that they had on so I was really proud of myself for that one. And I had bought a $2.50 uh, scarf to go around my shoulders. And that was my um, big thing. And I went to the Goodwill and got my little gold purse, which was, I think, $4. So I had a very inexpensive outfit, and it was a lot of fun, luxurious. Oh, my God, the reception. They had, like, lobsters cut in half and all, all these little half lobsters all up. And I think Bud ate, like, four of them. I don't like lobster, so it didn't affect me, but there were fountains of shrimp, and I mean, this was a high society wedding, so I was really like, it was the other side of life, you know, I guess I'm sort of happiest in the middle classes, I think, or the middle lower classes. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's go into some makeup, because you're probably restless with me right now. Um, there's a couple of sets that I'm extremely excited about from Sephora, and this was one of them. This is the Dior... Uh, Dior Show Pump and Volume um, Mascara, and then it has a little compact, um, which is a, kind of a sampler size, of one of their eyeshadow palettes. And it was $25, but the, the mascara on its own is $25. So this was a really nice bonus. What a beautiful little kit for a gift. So when you see it online, you see this picture, and this looks like it's this big, and I'm like, oh my god, this is a great deal. So I, well, I should have ordered six of them. Um, I ordered it, and <laughs> so it's very, very impressive, you know, it comes like this, and it's a full-size mascara, which is one of my favorite mascaras, and I'm so picky about mascara, but I love that one, and here we are, this is the eyeshadow palette that you get to try that comes with it that's basically free, because the mascara is 25, but <laughs> it's just so, you ready? <laughs> Look how little, a teeny thing. It's a teeny thing, baby. So what a great little gift for uh, buying the mascara. So that was a $25 set, definitely worth it. Oh my goodness. This is definitely, I think, one of the best deals on Sephora right now. The other thing is from the Huda Beauty. And this is a kit that has um, two lipsticks and a lip liner in it. And I believe this was also 25, but this is a great, deal. I mean, this is, she's doing it kind of funky where she has a darker on the outside, lighter, and then she has, you know, the lip liner. I didn't do that. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. 
But this one has Trendsetter and Bombshell, which are two really nice lipsticks, and it has a nice uh, lip pencil, and that's what I'm wearing right now. Let me show you what it looks like in natural light. Let me turn the light off here. Okay. <laughs> this is natural light here in my living room. And I really like this. Um, and also over the top, I have the Bougie, which is the um, lip strobe it's called. I put that over the top and it really just makes a nice pretty shine. So I'm really liking Huda Beauty. Um, I'm not so sure I would go crazy over that eye palette because it's just, it's those warm fall kind of oranges and reds and stuff and I'm just, I'm just not into that. I think it's not flattering on everybody and it's kind of, I find, I have other palettes that have the kind of pinky orangey color. So I just didn't see the sense in spending so much money and buying another one, you know. But I did like the, I love her lip products. Now the lip strobe, um, it doesn't really ever dry down completely and there is some transfer with it, but it's so pretty on, on its own or over the top, especially a trendsetter, it's really nice. So that's another kit that I really liked. And with the Sephora sale coming up in uh, first or second week of November, they usually have that VIP, uh, VIB Rouge, VIB, and Insider sale where you can get things 15 to 20 percent off. That's the time when you can buy things that, especially things like Busy Art palettes and things like that. I was watching Susan. She's a little poet, and I don't know if you ever watch Susan. I'll link her channel below. I just love her. She is just, it's just a lovely escape from life watching Susan's channel. She, um, she's a musician. She's a poet, and she's, I think she's 63 now. I don't think she mind me saying that because she says that in her videos. She's just a lovely person. She's just a, a, a true, spiritual, happy, observant person. And um, she talks about life, and she also talks about makeup and skincare. And she recently uh, did a video on rosehip oil, which is something she's been using for two years. And you can see a drastic wonderful difference in her skin just from the two years that she started using the rosehip oil and I think um, it's inspirational. But anyway, she was talking about this in a recent video and this is from LA Colors. Yes, that LA Colors. Um, I got this in a family dollar store for I think it was two dollars. <laughs> this is, uh, it's the Color Last nail polish. I've got it on my nails and this is day four. I, I really put my nails through a lot of tough stuff. I do a lot of filing at work with paper. We actually still use paper and files at our job. Um, there's a lot of like moving things around and stapling and unstapling and I use my nails as a Swiss army knife many times so I really put my nails through the test and she's right. This, this lasts really really well. I think the very edges are wearing just slightly but it's nothing like some of the higher end nail polishes that I have don't last as well. And I like this particular color. Um, you just have to look at it and know what it is. I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty for autumn. It's kind of a warm mauve color. I've been really busy this last month because we moved houses, but um, it was just nice to at lunchtime take a little break. And her videos always are a nice escape for me. I really like watching her stuff, so I recommend her. A real bummer this month. Um, my Artiste brush, I have it, it's a $56 brush. It broke, and I tried super glue, I tried electrical tape, but it snapped. And you know how it bends? Well, it didn't bend very well, and I'm pretty unhappy about that. I think that that was pretty horrible. Um, for an expensive brush to to break like that and I wasn't particular I was cleaning it actually I was um, rubbing it over soap and I was cleaning it and rinsing it and for some reason the heat or something of the water weakened it I don't know but it broke and I don't think I don't think a $56 brush should break so I was very unhappy I will not be buying another artiste brush Fenty Beauty I've, I've been
been really pleased with the Fenty Beauty that I have purchased so far, especially the contour stick and um, true to form. And I'll, I'll just show you this. I'll just move the camera over and show you. Those are the packages for the 12 winners of my giveaway. And I literally gave away every single contour that I owned, including my Charlotte Tilbury, my Kevin O'Quan, everything except one thing. And that was my Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in Amber. That is the only contour I have in my collection right now. Everything else is in the boxes. <laughs> everything else went. I love it that much. I mean, to go down to one product for a category is really big, especially with us YouTube we're sick. I mean, we have we have problems here with with hoarding makeup and stuff. And to go down to one item, you have to really believe in that item. And I do. I love that contour. So with that in mind, and I liked the makeup itself, the foundation. But as you know, in a recent video, Catrice makes the exact formula. They just don't have any colors. I mean, they only have fish belly white or not quite so fish belly white colors. And that was very disappointing about that. But Anyway, I did buy the, uh, the Fenty, this is the, the Glow Gloss or whatever it is. It's supposed to be a universal shade that looks nice and enhances everybody's lips regardless of your skin color. Um, on me it's a nice neutral nude. I would think using it over something else would be fine, but it actually didn't wow me very much because I, I have so many lip products. I didn't think there was anything really spectacularly, it is a nice, it's a nice smell too. It's, it's kind of a fruit candy kind of smell. Um, but there was nothing here that was that great. I do like the fact that the cap, and I've never seen anybody mention this before, but the cap is a mirror and you can, um, can actually do your lips using the cap. So, you know, in an emergency, that's kind of a nice feature. Um, I did want to give the lip products another try. So when the, the Galaxy collection got released, and this is her limited edition holiday stuff, this is the, um, the Galaxy uh, lipstick, and this is called Super Moon. I thought it was Super Mom, and I was calling it that for a while. <laughs> this is the Super Moon shade, and it's awfully pretty. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's just a really pretty kind of corally orange. Let me see if I can find a tissue and um, let's just put that on. Now it's just a sheer color but it's very flattering and it's a slightly warm tone as most of her collection I think is on the warm tone side. Now the Galaxy Eye Palette, I just watched um, Wayne Goss and Jeffree Star reviewing that and of course Jeffree Star can pull off anything. He can make anything look good on his skin. His mouth is like the perfect mouth. Um, he, yeah, he, he liked these as well but he made that eye palette rock. He really um, talked a lot about the different glitters. I don't find that the glitters work well for me, and you wind up getting a lot of that glitter down here. I don't like to use a lot of the special glues and things, because um, I'm starting to think about my eye health a little bit more, and I don't want to have a lot of crap, especially glitter, up around near my eyes. So I'm passing on the um, Galaxy palette, but uh, I was told by a Fenty rep who was at Sephora when I was there the other day, that uh, she is coming out with another palette that will have some matte shades in it. So I'm actually looking forward to that and I will try that, but I'm passing on this glitter stuff. I really think that, especially now where my eye health is a great concern to me, um, that I'm gonna pass on that eyeshadow palette. But I do like this moon, uh, super moon. I think it's really nice. Jay Manuel is very popular on the HSN channel, and you may remember him from the five uh, series where the five gay guys make over a straight guy so that he can be a better person to his girlfriend. Anyway, Jay Manuel was the makeup guy for there, and now he has his own line of makeup. It's been out for probably 
four or five years now. Um, and HSN features a lot of his products. And I bought this. It's a set of two things. It's a gloss and a lipstick. And now the lipstick is awful pretty and it's called Whisper. And let me just show you here. I just thought it'd be nice for fall to have a berry. And for me, a berry is, is kind of a warm tone berry, I'm trying to stay with that color me beautiful thing, you know, the spring, I'm the spring. <laughs> and it's very nice. His lip products are wonderful. And then this is my favorite lip gloss, and it always has been. I had it a long time ago. I received it free as a promo, and then I just bought it in as part of the set here on HSN, which is on a special right now. But this Halo Glow, you can put it over any of your other lipsticks, and it just gives such a beautiful sheen to your lips, and it's just a nice lip gloss. It dries down nicely. Um, it's not sticky. I hate sticky lip gloss. Well, I mean, who likes sticky lip gloss? I, I can't imagine. It's like, who likes going to the hospital? Who likes going to the funeral? <laughs> who likes going to the nursing home? So, okay. Now, I had a fail here, and this is um, something I found in TJ Maxx. Um, they had a lot of Too Faced and Kat Von D and high-end brands, Bare Minerals. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? They must be really old. Well, I think that was the case with this, but this is the melted uh, chocolate metallic, and this was hot chocolate. And to me, it was hot mess. It was just, it looks like baby crap with glitter in it on your mouth. Absolutely horrible, oh my God. So just think hot mess, if you see hot chocolate, hot mess. Oh, <laughs> so I think my granddaughters may like that one. I don't know. They like to play with a lot of funky makeup. So I think my granddaughters are going to get that one. <laughs> okay. Well, this is an impromptu. too. I guess this is turning into my October faves and flops. I got a super sample as a perk and, uh, you know, Sephora's been Again, the, my last three orders, they did not send me my three free samples. They only sent me my perk and then the thing I ordered. And I'm getting pissed off about that. I think that Sephora really needs to up their game because Ulta is, is, is winning this fight right now with me. <laughs> I wish they had more brands, but Ulta has a lot of more drugstore brands. Um, Sephora is, you know... They have a couple of the luxury brands that I love, like Cap on D and things like that, so I have to keep going to them. But I tell you, if I had a choice, uh, Ulta would be my store. Anyway, this is the Laura Mercier Eye Primer, and it just came out. I don't know if it's something brand new for her or not, but um, it's a very dark shade. And I was really surprised, but it works so well. Um, I used it the other... Can you see it? I don't know if you can see it. Hi there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you see how dark that is? Now this is the, the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, which I usually use, and I thought that was dark, but next to the next to the Laura Mercier, you can see, you know, they're like four shades apart. And it does neutralize, like if you have dark blotches on your eyes or age spots. This is going to neutralize it really nicely, but like Fish Belly White, it actually was a color on my eye, and I'm not sure I'm really liking that, but it did have great um, staying power. My eyeshadow looked great over the top, so the color didn't really matter because I put the eyeshadow colors I wanted over the top anyway, so. Okay. The mini samples at Sephora, they've got a mini gimme brow. And I thought that was great. A little teeny baby one. I wanted to try it. I didn't want to invest in the full size because I think it's expensive. And you get your tiny little wand and you, you brush this in. And what I like about these little wands and the fibers is that you can coat your gray hair, brow hair. Uh, with them and this works really really well and that little brush is so cute. I love it Rimmel uh, This is shade number 640 um, I wanted to try it for my angel and devil thing that I just did with the Saint Sinner palette. I just did that review 
what is it with the smell? <laughs> it's very florally smell. Um, I didn't like this very much at all. Very, very shiny, very um, old-fashioned looking lipstick, so that was kind of a fail. Okay, so let's get serious here. I am doing, you know, in the last year I've been under a lot of stress and I, I eat when I'm stressed out. I eat, I nibble at the desk, I have a sweet tooth. So I have gained a dress size and it was horrible about that and I had to go to the thrift store to buy a dress for the wedding because none of my nice dresses fit me. So uh, the good folks at Timi contacted me a while ago and I finally answered them back but they have sent me this is a, um, a container that you can shake up iced tea in. Um, this is the Teamy 30 Day Cleanse Plan. And this is something where um, you, you have tea and you uh, use some of the tea. You have it, a, a cup of tea in the morning, a cup of tea in the evening. Um, and you alternate. One's the colon cleanse and one's the weight loss. And you kind of alternate them for 30 days. And you eat your regular diet. You're supposed to kind of cut back and if you can exercise that's great too. But these really help accelerate um, getting your body cleansed out and getting it, get the toxins out and getting it primed to be functioning. And I think that we should all be thinking more about our health, especially as we get older. So what I'm going to do is actually with your help, hopefully you can help too. I'm going to do a beginning photo at the start of this. I'm starting it on Tuesday. Uh, Monday is our closing for the house, so I'm not going to we're celebrating afterwards and drinking and things. So um, I'm starting it on Tuesday. Um, I'm going to do a start photo, side, front, back, and wait. And then I will do this for 30 days and I will do a before and after and hopefully you'll actually notice it along the way anyway. I'm going to do weekly photos so you can see the progression and see if this works. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm also going to add in a little bit of my stepper and I've got one of those twister boards, you know, one of those as seen on TV, shark tank kind of things and I'm going to see how it goes. But Maybe you guys can help me out here by letting me know a diet trick that you had that helped you if you have lost weight, um, what you did that helped you. I know that um, Sharon Capehart had a wonderful tip where she had a, a little bowl that had like sections in it, four sections, and she had like grapes in one and almonds in another and, you know, um, little cherry tomatoes in another. and. Um, I just thought that was a great idea, you know, because a lot of times we eat whatever happens to be around. And in my, where I work, there's just a candy machine or a soda machine. And I, I never think in the morning, even though I putter around for a couple hours in the morning watching videos and just, you know, hanging out, I, I don't think about packing a lunch for myself. So um, maybe you guys can give me some, some tips because I do need to lose at least 25 pounds and uh, I'll be happy with that if I can lose 25 pounds. And we'll see what happens with this team, and I'm really excited, and I want to thank uh, Timmy for sending me this. And they have a, um, <laughs> they have sample um, what you do for each day, you know, um, how you alternate your, your schedule, and I think that's pretty cool. So, I hope everybody's having a wonderful week, and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.